but oh my god, I have to show you this. This is insane. This is how much these brakes needed doing. Good morning, morning, morning. So today is GTR brake day. Uh, I'm going to be changing out the rotors, pads, uh, also giving the hi-hats a lick of colour as well, uh, just to make them pop a little bit more. It's my favourite thing about the GTR is its brakes, uh, funny enough, so I really want to make them pop. I've already done the caliper paintwork on them, uh, but we're starting to get a few. I don't know if we can pick that up on the camera. Uh, it's Struggle Street, but uh, you're kind of seeing them there. Anyway, there's, there's some stress fractures on the road, and that usually means it's time to go, or time to time to change them out. So I'll just get the GDR lined up so I can get it ready. Uh, I'm going to do the fronts first, uh, get it ready to get up in the air and take the wheels off and whatnot. Um, and I'll bring out the rest of the gear and show you what I'm going to be working with, uh, along with the paints as well, because like I said, I'm giving the high hats a lick of paint, um, and uh, I'll show you that in a second. Alright, now the GDR's in position, I am going to get these ramps, somewhat under the front wheels, I'll crack the studs first, and uh, get the wheels off, uh, while, I'm, while I'm under there I'm going to give the brakes a really good clean. I was watching a few other videos on YouTube on, on doing a how-to and all that and I found that a lot of them were struggling to get bolts out, the pins out and it's just like clean them, <laughs> clean all that brake dust off and it'll probably make it just a little bit easier. So that's what I'm going to first tackle is giving them a good clean. So I've got some uh, brake cleaner, wheelie clean from Bowden's uh, and start off with that before I start dismantling stuff. All right so this is the uh, equipment I'm using today. So I've got some uh, DBA front and rear rotors. Got the brake pads. I went ceramic pads through Brembo for this, and this is what we use for the hi hats. So this piece here doesn't come with the kit, so I'm using the OEM ones. I'm locking up to retighten them, or redo them. Uh, but the hi hat will go here. I'll be painting that colour just to make them, make them pop. All right, so it's up on jacks now. I'm gonna the wheel studs, I've got these uh, some pieces that um, it's plastic coating over it stops it from scratching up your wheels. So we'll go ahead, create those wheel nuts, uh, then I'll get the jack underneath and, um, and uh, raise it up and start working. Alright, so just taking the wheel off, let's see if we can get it. So, I really want to show you. Just pick up some stress fractures in this rotor. Um, there's a mad, crazy lip on the edge there. So these are probably the same rotors from when this car came out of Japan. So they're definitely well overdue for a replacement. You can just see also the wear mark on the pad here. That these these front pads definitely need changing as well. So good thing we're doing it. So I'm just giving the calipers a bit of a clean, all nice and bright and shiny now. Uh, it's bad to see, but I'm going to have to remove these two, these two bolts here. All right, so they're going to come off just to move this frame over because uh, of the brake line. And there's a bolt here, a bolt there. You can just see it, and there's one underneath down there. So there's just three bolts that are going to get replaced. Now the top one's longer, so you to make sure the top one goes in. And the shorter one goes back in where it needs to be, so um, I'll go ahead and get those undone, support it with a, um, a jack stand over in this area here, and that will reveal the, uh, the um, rotor which I can take off and separate the hat and clean it up, give it a lick of paint, um, and yeah, go from there. So not too much involved, but uh, yeah, first I'm doing it, so it's a little time consuming, but steady as she goes. Oh my god, oh my god, I have to show you this. This is insane. This is how much these brakes needed doing. I don't know if you can see, but right here, the pad has started breaking away. That is how much these things desperately needed changing. I'm so glad these are getting done now because that is insane. I didn't know they were that bad. Like, I knew they were getting down there, but obviously you can't really quite see the face of the, the pad until you actually take it out. That is, <laughs> that's nuts. Oh. We'll keep going. 
look at that. So that's the uh, the face of the the inside front pad. That is whoa. <laughs> That's insane. Well, luckily we're changing them, eh? They've got the rotor hat off. Just giving it a lick of paint with this stuff here. It's a base coat. It's come up with a nice metallic shine to it, so I think it's just popping for that metallic sort of look to it. Now, anyway, once I get these painted, I'm going to chuck them in the oven and uh, get them to bake for a little while. So, the beauties of doing the brakes is it allows you to get in here and just Give everything a nice good clean over, and that's what I'm doing with the dust, dust cover, dust shield. Um, calipers are going to get a nice good once over again. It's not really sharp for the camera, but they are filthy fingerprints all over them. So, alrighty, just got back from Super Cheap. I needed to grab some uh, Loctite for the uh, hats and the rotors going together. So, uh, finished painting the rotor hat. So that's it there. I'm just going to attach that to this now. I've got that hardware with new nylon nuts, which uh, these here. So, yeah, to get started with that, I'll prep this surface because I'm going to put a bit of um, oil just to stop it from rusting, prematurely rusting, um, and uh, clean that off and start putting them all together and so I can bolt it all back up from there. All right, looking pretty good so far. So what I found out with these little attachments is that when I was putting them in, I was like sending them as far as back as I could, just you know, oh yeah, make them secure. No, you just put them in, let them float, and then when you put it on here, it it allows it to fit in there much better. So um, there you go, lesson learned uh, for the next three that I do. All right, so out with the old, in with the new hard new hardware. Now I'm just putting all this down at uh, finger tight at the moment. I'm gonna um, firstly undo this one because. Need a bit of Loctite, that's why I went out super cheap to get it. So. Rotor back on, how sick does that look? I really do love that orange, metallic orange sort of fly flavor look <laughs> all right so now it's time to put all the bolts back up and put the brake pads in and should be good to go front right reassembled all painted up about to put the wheel back on and then i'll uh tackle the other side away obviously won't film that because it's the same thing just now the other side but i will film the uh rears once i get to them shit everywhere well welcome back so it's day two of the brakes. I've finished the fronts, the fronts are all done. I've just got the rears to do. So I've got these on ramps. I'm gonna jack it up. Raise the whole back end of the car up. Put it on jack stands and get the rears done.
the rear calipers only have two bolts up and top and they're both the same size in this one. So I'll get these undone, take the rotor off, disassemble it, get it painted, move on to the next one so I've got two drying and I can speed up the process a little bit. I think there's going to be a time where I'm going to take all these calipers off and repaint them all because uh, I really should have done that in the first place. Alright, so now what I'm doing is disassembling, I hope you can see that, disassembling the rotor, so the rear rotors. Uh, so the, the hat here is coming apart from the rotor because I've got replacement rings. So this will come back same as before. Uh, birds put these two cents in. <laughs> um, like the front, I'm going to give these a bit of a paint, put them on the new rings, and then attach them back to the uh, to the car. So tedious, but it's well worth it. Now that we've got all the little bolts, shims and all that off. Oh, that one's upside down. No, no, no it isn't. Never mind. Don't worry, mate. Um, got these little attachments to come out, so essentially this will pop out. All right, and they will just fall out really, so they've all got to come out. I'll give them a clean up. This gets a clean up and a good lick of paint. Same process as before. All the bolts have been removed. And we remove the hat. Now there's only eight points of uh, contact on the rears. Eight, did I get that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. Only eight and 10 at the, 10 at the front. So I'm gonna give that a clean now and uh, lick of paint, stick them in the oven. Speed up the process, give these a bit of a clean while we're waiting for that, and then start assembling rotors and we should be good to go. Okay, so the rear, it's been a long day, the rear rotor hats are now in the oven. Um, it's gonna help bake the, uh, bake the high heat paint on there quicker. Uh, once they're done, they're gonna stay there for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, pull them out, give them a lick of uh, the orange color, anodized color. Um, but in the meantime, while I'm waiting for them to happen, while I wait for them to dry, do, I'm gonna do a bit of a tidy up, just so it makes it easier once I'm done. Okay, so now that the rear rotor hats uh, in the oven getting painted sorry oh, it's on back track. so they've been painted i'll put them in the oven just so they can dry a bit quicker um or cure a bit quicker and then i'll put the orange paint on it a little bit later uh, but in the meantime i'll do a bit of cleanup just to make the job at the end a bit easier so well and there we have it done all the brakes on the gdr the pads rotors um, all them done. I uh, was in desperate need of doing. Um, look, it was a really easy job actually. I was actually surprised how easy it was. And the next thing that's going to be on the cards is probably redoing these calipers. Absolutely smashed prior to this really. I was giving the car a clean and um, I was using this uh, wheel brush. I'm there, you know, watching the, the, uh, the calipers and um, 
this little rubber end cap that came off the uh, off the brush that I was using. So I'm there still washing it, washing it at night, and uh, pretty much I'm vigorously stabbing my calipers with a bare bit of metal because that little rubber cap came off. And um, I thought the damage had been happened had happened prior somehow, um, but no, it was actually all me and this brush. So that thing got thrown down the driveway in anger pretty quickly. Um, so that's something we're going to have to look at doing, if not just do little spot corrections on the calipers themselves. Um, but yeah, glad it's finally done now. Uh, that front pad that, that you saw at the start, that was ridiculous. The rest of the pads weren't like that. None of the other pads were like that. The rears had a lot of life in them still in the pads. It was just the fronts that had copped a lot of abuse. So. Um, I think that's inherent. It's just the way it is really all the braking force is done at the front of the car but um, yeah uh, Anyways, if you enjoyed the video make sure you like uh, Subscribe, you know share it around um, If you've got any questions just drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them all thoroughly and uh, Yeah, but anyway guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. See ya